Hello and welcome back to Subsistence. Okay, just up on the roof, having a little look around. I think what we're going to do today is we're going to go on a lovely loot run, uh, starting on this side and work our way around the lake. And if we get a visit from hunters, I'm probably, probably just going to ignore it, to be honest. Let's see, have we got a uh, lock crate down there? Not that I can see. We'll head back the quick way down the stairs. And let's check our food and the fire. Oh, we've got some water from last night and a bit of ash. Let's put the ash away. We've got a lot of ash in here, so no need to worry about that and we'll just make another fuel brick let's keep the two on us I've got a bottle of berry water a couple of tomatoes and some protein bars if the fire goes out I'm not going to worry too much I'm hardly desperate for the ash so let us uh, get some of this refining because we've got a bit of power and the solar panel should start kicking in now. I've only put 12 of each on. Um, we do have a lot of extra ore somewhere. Where did I leave that? Not there. There. Right, we've, we've got 300 ore there. The only thing we don't have a lot of is um, iron ore. Unrefined iron ore that is. We should put these clay bore down. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. We've, we're back up to 68 um, iron fragments, so that's pretty good. We've got a lockpick on us, and yep, yeah, we did make one. So the sun is streaming in. I would like to get the windows done all the way around here at some point soon. We've got one, two, three to complete this one side. Um, and I think it looked really good. I'm very much looking forward to getting some more of this build completed. Maybe some of this upper deck as well. Uh, certainly um, this front side anyway. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of iron. <laughs> An awful lot of iron. Okay, we did all the repairs to this yesterday. Let's go and get some loot. Yeah, okay. Uh, what have we got? We've got some scrap already here. Okay, let's run down the beach. Should we stop for sandstone? I kind of feel like I want to. But let's let's just do a loot run, I think. And see how it goes. See if we can find some iron. Good sign that there's a, a lot of fibres and things around already. And I can see some zinc there, but I'm not going to stop for zinc. Not when we've got so much of it back at the base. And there was a, a bear up there, I saw. There we are. Level 3 bear as well. Wow. And a level 2 wolf here. Oh, wow. Now this um, rock here has produced iron in the past, but that wolf is coming after us, so we better leave that alone. I think he should give up soon. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice um, having this uh, this area just to come to for a change. 
It goes way back there. There's a couple of building chests there already. Uh, is that iron or potassium? That looks like potassium. We'll get it. Just because we've stopped. And I'm going to grab these plants too. Oh, uh, that's kind of scuffered my plans. Do I want to bother this wolf just for a, a fibre? Whoa! Yikes! <laughs> I don't think he knew I was there to start with. Let's go up for these building chests. Okay, what we've got here is a... Uh, rabbit. A couple of building crates, not too bad. We'll grab those. I wonder if that bear is still on the wrong side of the fence. We should have a look really. It'd be nice to uh, say hello if he's still there. Should be able to throw something over at him, shouldn't we? Let's have a quick look. It might get a bit glitchy around here again. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he's trapped permanently. There is a crate over there as well, an ammo crate. Oh, the bear. Oh, I feel a bit sorry for the bear. Oh, I don't feel sorry for the wolf. I have no idea where that wolf is. He's by the tree, okay. We'll leave him alone then. Alright, I can see chickens and rabbits and all good things. This would be a pretty decent place to spawn in at the very beginning. Um, a fair bit of loot, you know, not too bad. Lots of fibres. It's almost like there's been an update. There's that many fibres. Chickens and rabbits and all sorts of things. Look at all of these everywhere. Oh, there's a medicinal there as well. Oh, and there's a crate over there. There's another medicinal, another fibre. This area is very good at the moment. Anyway, let's go over and get this crate if we can. Uh, oh, there's a, an ammo and there's a medicinal. And there's a chicken just hiding over the brow of the hill there. <laughs> I see you. Biofuel's nice. Not going to say no to that. But I'm really hungry at the moment. Got up very early this morning and um, I've done quite a bit of recording. Uh, I've recorded a couple of Fallout 4 episodes. I've recorded um, a Subnautica episode. Um, I'm recording this subsistence so you know and edited them as well so uh, pretty productive so far just trying to catch up there's a deer over there do we want to try um, a long shot again is he gonna stop though he's walking for quite a while Whoa, <laughs> I think that must have hit the ground near him for him to run off. Uh, there is another deer just in the river there. Just going behind that rock. I love how populated this area is with the deer. That bear's probably going to come over here for this deer. If he ever emerges from behind the rock. Time is wasting waiting around for that deer to emerge. 
I think I'm going to grab the fibres and berries that I can see and then hopefully by the time we've finished do I want to go back for that one it's quite a way did a uh, medicinal plant just do spawn then I think it did oh there's more up there as well but there's a bear so we'll leave we'll leave all that over there That deer has magically appeared back up the top of the river, unless that's another deer. Well, that's interesting. I suppose he could have been sort of scared back a little bit by that bear. That does happen occasionally, I've seen it, but... Um, kind of cool. Oh, there's more fibres down there. We're going to get a load of fibres today. Okay, we've got quite a few animals around this area. Got a match. Let's head down here. I was uh, hoping to find a locked crate. We do have a lockpick on us. Let's uh, peek around here and see if that deer is still here. Because if it is, I've no idea where it's gone. In theory, it should still be here. Such a lovely area. Right, there's a bit of scrap here. Oh, there's the deer. Whoa, there's a lot of animals around. Oh, body shot. Feels a bit wasteful going after a deer with a couple of rifle shots rather than just one headshot, but I'll take it. I would love the um, antlers to be more valuable um, rather than just be used for making um, adhesive. I'd love to be able to carve them into tools or, you know, like an improved ham uh, handle for the pickaxe or something. Or Oh, well, that just shot right past him. Glitch, glitch, glitch. No, it's going to move now. Okay, we got him. That's quite, that's quite frightening the way that does that, isn't it? It's very satisfying though. Oh gosh, there's another deer. Which one should we go for first? Right, we've got this uh, this one here. Let's go for this one. Well, Crouch, we are quite close to that bear. We are quite close. Wow, a lot of fat on that one. That was cool. This one was probably a, a better shot. Let's do that and we'll harvest you. Very nice. Okay, let's carry on, see what else we can get. Oh, there's another one up there. And there's a bear. Okay, let's run up here then. I was going for a fibre down there, but I think if there's a deer, I'd much rather go for you. Um, right. Wrong angle, really. It's behind that tree. Oh, I love that sound. It's so good.
that's so very good I like it okay we'll just crest the top of this hill we're right by the fence here so now the deer should be hmm where is he somewhere over in this direction I would imagine I don't want to scare him off. There's a wolf coming towards us. Yeah, there's a wolf right in front of us. Uh, we'll have... There we go. Right, do we want this bit of scrap? Right, there's that wolf. Let's detour down here. There's a wolf on the left now. You do kind of, I've noticed this actually, you can kind of get yourself boxed in in this area. Just with the amount of wolves and, and bears that are around here. It's great for the deer, but I don't know where that deer's gone. There will be more, there will be more. We've got a wolf right up there. Uh, okay, this is a great area for looking for lock crates. I think this this little rock um, gully, if you like, that there, there's the deer, would be a brilliant place for a base. Now I don't know where that bear is, unfortunately. Is he up on the rock or is he down below? I'll go this way because I saw the deer run off down in this direction. I'm pretty sure the deer went um, over in that way, but okay, there's the bear. Okay. All right, where did the? There's the deer. I've just stumbled on him. Ah. Okay, so he's gone to the right. There's a bear to the left. Right, let's see if we can get a headshot on you. Oh, blimey. He's moving again. Okay, not a great one, that one. Thought we had another one then in front of us. There's so many of them around here. pretty much doing this just for the fun of it because I don't need any of the um, these items but it's just so much uh, so enjoyable oh he's walking towards me oh gosh oh there's one right behind as well right you're down uh, can we get you as well no. Um, let's see. Nope. <laughs> let's go and get the one we managed to kill then. No, this could be a little bit silly of me here. Um, I'm going to run past and then we'll see how the animals are. Uh, because there were a lot of them around then. Right, that bear's kind of wandered that way. Okay, we, I think we're good to get to get this. No, no, I heard padding. I've been very quiet there, I'm listening because I heard padding. I think, I think it's below me. 
but just in case. Right. It's such a lovely area to hunt in. So we got a um, a bullet in that one deer, although he probably has healed a little by now. They do heal as they run away over time, uh, and they disappear. So just be aware of that. They can disappear. That's very cool. What have we got there? We've got a bear. Wouldn't it be lovely to get a headshot of, um, to be able to headshot some bears and wolves in the same way that we can with the deer? So you could take them out if you were lucky enough with a single headshot. I, I would like that very much. Okay, I think this is probably as far as I want to go. Uh, I'm going to start heading back home, I think, from this point because uh, the, the day is drawing on and we uh, we can't travel, we, we could travel all the way around the map, but generally if you stop to do anything, you, you're taking a chunk of your time. And really you need a good, a good full day to do it justice. We're not that far away, in fact. It might be quicker, looking at this, it might be quicker to run. It might be quicker to run all the way back because we can swim across to that point, that point now because the hunters have gone. Mm. Okay, let's see how this goes. This is always the tricky area because the... Uh, in fact, let's not risk it. Let's just take a complete and utter direct shortcut. I think this is what we did last time as well. Oh, good God. Yeah, we really ought to look over the, uh, over the edge of the rock there. Make sure that it's empty before we jump out. Now, how's our stamina? Uh, we need to drink. We're alright for everything else, so that's good. Uh, level 2, that's probably a wolf. Oh my gosh, we've got a hunter. Now, I wasn't expecting that. Oh god, there's three of them. Uh, we are going to have to run round then, I think. Unless they move on. I wasn't expecting them to be that far over. Oh, um, let's have a look. Okay, we're, we're gonna we're gonna try. I'm gonna stay quite far away. Oh, he's sort of he's walking my way, isn't he? Well, this would be a good experiment. It's going to be pretty difficult for them to hit me. I'm not using stamina. But look how far away from their base they are. In my head, I had plenty of room to hit the end of this island up, this uh, peninsula, um, in order to head back across. But with them coming quite so far over on this side, when they're the other side, it's not a problem, but with them coming quite so far over, I think it's just a little bit too risky. Keeping, a, keeping an eye on them. 
I'm going to back away a little bit because he's sort of walking this way, isn't he? Gosh. I don't think they're bothered by me right now. So what we've ended up doing, in fact, is, is just swimming. Oh, wow, look how far over he came. I may have aggroed him. Oh, he's chopping. So he's not actively looking for me. There's a deer on the beach. There is a deer on the beach. Okay, let's go for this rock here. Look at the base. It's looking nice. Looking complicated. Okay. Oh, there's a deer right there. Oh, my goodness me. Wow, that just shot straight through. And again. I think this is probably going to miss again. I think it's too close to the foundation. Right, he's down. Can we get this other one? Or is that being too greedy? Oh, shot him. But no kill. So we've got a level three here as well. I love this um, amount of deer on the map. I think it's awesome. The problem is I've got so much food, but we're getting a lot of fat from this. So it's, um, it's quite handy. Now, where did he go? Oh, there's a chicken. I was about to shoot the chicken with the SLT. We'll save those berries. That's quite a nice amount of berries, isn't it? Uh, there's a chicken in the distance. I'm not seeing deer. He didn't run into the water. There he is. Right, he's just started walking again, so we need to let him settle. We've already got one shot in him. He'll probably um, go down with the body shot, but just in case. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know who was more scared then, the chicken or the deer. He didn't run very far. Should we try a body shot? Yeah, body shot. That was good enough. Okay. Let me reload. There is a bear coming. Uh, he's a bit close, so let's go up here. Hopefully he hasn't glitched through the fence or anything. Oh, we've got a wolf. Bugger. Uh, where did the deer go? That's the problem. I do with a platform up here really. And that bear's down there, isn't he? We're gonna have to circle all the way around, I think. Yeah, let's let's run this way. If we if we can't harvest him, it's not, not a problem. There he is on the side of the hill. We'll go and see if we can. Just for the challenge of it, it's good sometimes to try and manoeuvre around animals like this because uh, that's so often what you have to do in this game. It's really good practice. Okay, now I can see the deer's carcass but I can't see where that wolf is or, to be honest, where the bear is. Now I can, but I think... There's no chance. The wolf's kind of wandered off, but the bear... Is he walking away from me? He is. Wow, this is so stupid. Where are you? Have you glitched into the ground? Yes, you have. 
I believe you have. Yep, you glitched into the ground. So that was a that's happened to me just recently in the co-op game. In fact, oh, don't know where he is. Really, don't know where he is. I'm hoping we're going to be able to see our stairs in a second. Are we the front side of the base or at the back? There's the back, okay. Here's our stairs, thank goodness. Right. Uh, gosh, I can't see a thing, so I apologise. Okay, we are home. Uh, I think the doorway is here somewhere, is it? There's the doorway. Good grief. Right, let's get a light on so we can actually see what we are doing. Uh, right, fuel brick, ignite. We've got three steaks and one liver. So I think we'll do the steaks first and then what we can do is burn the liver maybe. Uh, we have an apple and a couple of berries. Very good. Right, let's get these antlers away. So we've got 44 antlers now. Um, Right, we've used a few um, SVT rounds today. We should probably carry the um, shotgun with us and give this SVT a break. Although we've still got mm, we've still got 19 rounds um, before we have to worry about anything else. So I think we'll be okay. I've got a bit of potassium to refine. Let's take that and put the cloth away. Did we use any health kits or anything? No. Uh, we need a little bit of water but we'll be okay for the moment. Shall we make these into biofuel? Just because we're running a little bit short of space. We didn't use our lockpick today. Uh, we did up our quantity of uh, copper. That's pretty good. And we've made a bit of a impact on the fibre. That's awesome. Let's make a whole batch of fuel bricks. Use those right up because we don't have a lot of room. Okay, we've got three steaks. Let's drop the liver on as well. We've got a, a match there. Biofuel away. Uh, we'll eat two of the steaks. We probably will need the third one. Look at the water go down. And we're going to need to water the plants as well. Feed and water the plants, that is. They are just here. drop the whole of that fertiliser in and we are going to probably need both water. Yep. Okay. I love just dropping down there. I think it's awesome. Okay. We will pop you away. Uh, we need to go and fill up the canteens. Um, food and water. Yep, yeah, we're, we're, all, we're all completely topped up anyway, so I really ought to make a fridge because I'm wasting an awful lot of this food um, just by eating so many that I just don't need, so <laughs> I could be storing these away, like cooked liver. Um, let's run down and get the water. I forgot to look at the power, see how we're doing. Is it fairly safe on the beach? It is. And then we'll get this on to cook and I think that's probably where we're going to leave today's episode. We had a, a good explore. 
and I need to work on this area next and what I'm going to do I think is bump this out one more so I'm right on top of this tree and then hopefully the hunters won't be able to find it quite so useful uh, to hide from me so I think that's where we are going to leave this episode so thank you so much for joining me until next time take care and I'll see you again soon bye for now